Despite the assurances by the Central Bank of Nigeria, CBN, that there will be adequate cash in circulation, checks show that cash scarcity persists in most parts of Lagos and Ogun State this festive season. We ask Nigerians to share with us how this development is affecting them. Take a listen. Is the scarcity of cash affecting you and how? Well, I'm someone that uses POS a lot and it has occurred to me that the rates has gone up because those who give us the money are complaining that they don't have enough you know, given to them by the bank. So the little they have, they tend to inflate the, you know, cost of giving us. So basically, some buying money with money and it actually makes no sense at the rates we are getting them. Those uh, POS people that are going there to collect money, it's not for free. They are selling the money to them. A uh, point of service in the bank is limited. Our corruption tendency is too much. The salary they are paying them does not supposed to have made them to be making the people to be suffering. It's not the government fault. It's our people. We are the evil. We are the we are the we are the one that is doing ourselves. It's like we are buying the money now. When you go to bank, you cannot get enough cash that you need. And if you went to POS, you cannot see. If you see, they will charge you much. I don't know where this scarcity is coming from. When I get to bank, bank said uh, there's no cash. They're expecting cash. They're expecting cash from where? Is it from the federal government or from CBN? We don't know. Or if I'm going to somewhere, I need twenty thousand naira. You say it's 10,000, it it's affecting everybody. The CBN has withdrawn the volume of money in circulation. I think that is very, very bad because uh, it will make people not uh, enjoy all the celebrations of the end of this year. I went to without 10,000 Naira, my own money. But the POS operator is telling me she can't give me 10,000 Naira because there is no money in circulation. So she has to give me 2,000 Naira, that's the maximum. She can give. So imagine if I have a mom in the hospital I want to go and pay a bill for. Does that mean she's going to die? What am I going to do with 2,000 naira? A meal is just 2,000 naira in Nigeria now. So it means I can only eat just a meal today. I would have thought that it was Godwin and MFLA and all that. Now Godwin and MFLA is no more. So what is causing this scarcity? Most times uh, when we want to go out, uh, you don't have cash to go out. And when you want to withdraw from the POS, the charges they will call for you is so scary. If we can cross the era of uh, Emefili and Buhari thing in Nigerian assistance, we can survive anything. Nigeria is used to all this uh, unnecessary rascality. So we will survive it. That's just the truth. I just have to go to my neighbors to pick some cash in order to transport myself down here. Because you can't, you can't board a bus with a transfer. I don't know what the countries are turning on into. I think they are trying to make it a kind of a, a, a current thing like this uh, forced scarcity. Whenever it comes to December period, there will be forced scarcity. Now it's cash scarcity. So I don't think this government are really considering the, the poor masses into any bit of our consideration. For more on Voices from the Streets, visit reposenigeria.com without borders, without fears.